up guys, we're back at it with another New York week in my life. It's Danielle here. Subscribe down below if you guys are new. We're fresh off New York Fashion Week. I had the absolute best time. Definitely go watch that vlog. It's just something that I've been really enjoying doing and I'm so thankful. So, um, but today's the first day that we're not doing Fashion Week related things. So I woke up this morning, there was snow on the ground. Ryan was calling me, he's like, look outside. I'm like, oh my gosh, it was so relaxing. And now the sun is completely out. So I'm a little confused there, but we've got rosemary oil, rosemary oil in my scalp. Rosemary. Eye patches on, serums in a comfy, cozy outfit. And we're gonna get our life together this morning um, because during fashion week, I'm throwing stuff everywhere. There's products all over my bathroom counter. So I wanted to kind of take the next couple hours to clean and selfishly, when I'm on camera, I'm more productive and I'm more motivated to clean. And I personally love watching other people's cleaning vlogs. So I'm gonna take you guys along and then we're gonna get on with our day. And tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Today's Galentine's Day. So happy Galentine's Day to all of my gals. Yeah, welcome back to another vlog. Here's a little hot tip I got from Miss Peaceful Michelle herself. Aesop has these absolutely beautiful mouthwash glass bottles. And so I used it and then it was over and she was like, well, if you have a different mouthwash you prefer, which I like a Listerine or something with fluoride, that vibe, like this one's anti-cavity fluoride and you guys know my teeth are just weak. So this bottle just doesn't look as pretty on my counter. So she was like, well, just pour it in the Aesop one that you already have. And I was like, you are genius. So we're just doing a little science project right now. No big deal. This is so satisfying, honestly. downstairs to grab my packages and I finally got my package in the mail from ThreadUp. Thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. I've used ThreadUp for so long, so much, so I had to switch my shipping address from my Florida address to here because I've had it forever. But ThreadUp is awesome because you're basically able to embrace your individual style while also reducing your fashion footprint because you're giving this like new life to one of a kind pieces at a great price. So I found some really great pieces that I wanna show you guys and try on. I'm all about secondhand shopping. I donate so much clothing. It's just really exciting when you see your friends or your peers wearing some of your pieces that maybe you're tired of, but then they give it a new life and I love seeing how people style it. So I feel like that's what I'm doing today. I also went on ThreadUp and favorited a ton of things on their website. So you guys can shop my secondhand favorites down below. And you can also use my code Danielle to get an extra 35% off, which is a huge deal. So I'll have that link down below, but I wanna show you guys the pieces I got. This first piece I am so excited about it. It's a Michael by Michael Kors little jacket situation here. I love it. I think I might wear it to the podcast tomorrow. It's white and black. It has lots of zipper detailing. I think it would be so cute worn zipped up or open like this with like a tank underneath and some jeans and like a belt. It's so chic. This is so my vibe right now. I absolutely love it. I'll also have all the prices on the screen for you guys. It's just amazing what the retail price is versus what you pay for on ThreadUp. Next up, we have this beautiful blazer and it's new with tags from Ann Taylor, which you will find a lot on ThreadUp. I just thought this was so unique. I love the asymmetrical moment right here again the tailored look is really really in right now especially i mean in my world i can't stop wearing this tailored look so this is perfect i have this beautiful zara blouse here i love this color and i've been wanting a shirt like this that has this like ruching in the middle like a little twisty almost so cute so perfect I feel like you could dress this up or down with a skirt or pants. It's totally customizable. 
I also got these black boot cut jeans. I am obsessed with boot cut jeans right now. I think they are so flattering on. And then I also got these jeans from Gap. I really like the darker denim. I feel like they're a little bit nicer, more dressed up, if you will. So I am obsessed with all of these pieces. I'll have a link down below to some of the things that I'm loving on ThreadUp's website. But it's also amazing because you can also donate your clothes to ThreadUp as well. Like, there's just so many great opportunities with ThreadUp, and I am a huge supporter of what they do. Just chopped up some cucumbers with some roasted red pepper hummus, one of my favorite snacks. And Brooke and I have a call in like 30 minutes, so I'm just gonna snack and keep cleaning. Okie dokie. Hopping on the call. Made another cup of coffee, decaf, of course. That's it, that's, that's the update. <laughs> Hopping on the Google Cal, gonna go to the Google Meet. Like I said, Valentine's Day is tomorrow, and earlier I didn't even show you guys, my dad sent me Baked by Melissa Cupcakes. He's kind of done that. Honestly, the last like four years maybe, since I was in college even, and his note literally made me cry. Happy Valentine's Day, sweetie. Love you more and more every year. You are my girly for now and forever. Hope Fashion Week has been a blast. Wishing you the utmost happiness always. Love, Dad, and I'm like, Sob, it was so nice. And then Katie from Sculpt Society, or Sculpt Society in general, they just sent me flowers too, because I did like a Valentine's Day challenge with them. And I'm so excited for that to go live. I did like a workout class with them that'll be on the app and you can do the workout with us, so. But I, I've literally eaten so many cupcakes today, but that's why I love Bake My Alyssa, because they're so tiny. Um, so I just feel like I can have so many. So I'm gonna have another one of these. Mm. Mm. Okay, so I also just got in the mail. We're gonna open it together. The boxers that I was telling you guys in my last vlog, I like kissed a piece of paper with lipstick on and like hand wrote something and sent to Abigail at Abode and she embroidered a pair of boxers for me to give to Ryan. I'm so excited, it's perfect timing. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Oh my God, it's perfect, they're blue. There's my kiss, oh my gosh, love you Bubba. That's literally my handwriting. This is such a cool idea. You can customize so many different things and I think they do it online too. But she took the photo of my kiss and like did that. Some of them do it like they kiss on the crotch and I was like, I will kiss there. <laughs> so I can't wait and I feel like Valentine's Day, Brooke and I were just talking about this, like it's for the girls. Like, you know, the guys, like I'll get like, this is like, I'll get Ryan this and like maybe some other little thing. Like I'm gonna go get him a card but it's not like, you know, it's more just like funsy stuff. You probably didn't even know it cause I don't think I showed it, but my apartment or my room was such a mess. I had clothes just all over the floor. I was reorganizing like where I put some of my pants cause I had all my skirts in there under like a shelf and I just never saw it. So I moved all of my skirts here. Not a much better option, but I've just been wearing a lot more skirts. So I wanted to make sure I have an area where I can put them. Anyways, now my clothing rack has things that I'm packing for Toronto because we're going to Toronto this weekend for a Gals in the Go live show. So I have my live show dress here. I'm so excited. It's got shoulder pads. I literally even hung up my pajamas because I'm silly like that. But this little portable travel clothing rack has just been amazing for me for planning outfits. So I was like pulling us side some things that I want to bring to Toronto and then I was also planning my Valentine's Day outfit I have this beautiful red skirt that I wanted to wear and I thought it could be cute with just like a little white tank and some pointed heels and then a blazer but I haven't tried it on yet so I was just pulling it out and I'll try on tomorrow on actual Valentine's Day Ryan's coming over in a little bit and I just have done everything else except for do exactly what I said I wanted to do which was clear out all these products however a lot of these are out here because this is like my travel bags that I'm gonna pack with me literally in two days for Toronto so I'm just gonna tidy it up and then when I get back from Toronto, I'll actually be able to unpack because I won't be traveling for a minute. We're going to Philly, but we're just going to Philly for the day for a live show next week. So I like don't need to bring a suitcase with me and then I'll like fully unpack all of this, but there's just no point. But I've had rosemary oil in my scalp <laughs> all day and um, tomorrow's kind of randomly just like a busy day. And it's Valentine's Day, so I wanna look cute. So I'm gonna shower now and wash my hair and like at least dry it tonight so that tomorrow I don't have to worry and I'll just like style it a little bit. Um, and Ryan's gonna come over tonight as well, which will be fun. We'll like wake up together on Valentine's Day and maybe go get coffee and be cute. I don't know, but yeah, so he's gonna be here semi shortly. So I need to do all of that now. Shower husband had. Popping a sparkly. 
It just hits. There is so much stuff everywhere. What's in my bathroom? I went and bought more of this Aveda air control hairspray, mainly because it's so nostalgic for me. Because growing up, my mom would use it. And if I like needed hairspray, I would go to her room and borrow some. And so now I was walking by the Aveda store the other day. And I was like, let me get a full size. Cause I, she got me a travel size for Christmas and I forgot how much I love the smell. I'm gonna put that down here. Love this Trilogy Rose Hip Oil. It's so good for like gua sha stuff like that. Ooh. But I'm actually gonna put a little Tan Lux, the face self tanner in it and actually put it on my face right now so that I wake up tomorrow morning with a glow. Doesn't that sound nice? I'm like putting away the products but also using them at the same time. Gotta wash my hands because it has self tanner on them. What else do we got in here? Oh, I'm gonna try this today. Usually I use the Whey leave-in conditioner, but I got Salterra. I love this brand, they have ton. They also just came out with dry shampoo, which I've tried a couple times and I'm actually very impressed with. And it's like a Santal Bloom scent. But this is the Salterra leave-in conditioner and it's that same Salterra, or Sal Santal scent. So I'm gonna try it because the way one is really good. This one does smell good though. It's all about how well it can detangle my hair. It's doing pretty well. We'll see how my hair dries. We'll see. I should have moved this out of the frame forever ago. This is Tan Lux The Water. It's like the tanning water I use to kind of upkeep my spray tans. <laughs> it's so good because it like really doesn't leave streaks. You just like spray it on your body and rub it in and it's Definitely isn't like super tan, but it's really good for upkeep, like I said. Rare Beauty, this body and hair mist smells so good. I don't know how to explain the scent, but it just smells so good. And the spray is like a micro mist. It's such a good refreshment throughout the day. It smells, you don't like spray it on your face, but it just smells so good. So I've been keeping this out to spray on myself. Trying a Sewell Wasu serum. I'm just showing you guys what's on my counter right now as I put it away. Goop just came out with a cleansing balm. So I've been trying that instead of makeup wipes. So I have that right here. Been loving this Kopari Ultra Restore Firming Body Serum. I love a body serum. And as a pump, I just put on my body it, I literally feel like it firms up my skin. I don't really know if it does, but I've been really loving it. I've also really been loving the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty, because um, I feel like my skin's just drier during this time of year, so I feel like it's keeping it nice and moisturized. Deodorant, tried and true, Dove. By the way, like this isn't me telling you guys you need to go buy all this stuff. Again, I'm just showing you guys things I've been loving recently. Just wanted to, wanted to clear the air. So I'm gonna keep putting things away because I got a hot date tonight. This may not seem better to you guys, but this is a lot better to me. Perfume tray is honestly a great lineup right now. Got this perfume at the Laquan Smith show at our seats. I've been wanting to try this brand, Kayali. This Oudgasm scent, these are the notes, unreal. Absolutely love it. And these are my two like travel bags, so I'll just keep them like that. Got the lineup here. So much happier with this situation. I can't wait for Ryan to get here because we're just gonna, we were gonna, we're gonna watch the morning show, which is the show we're watching right now. But a part of me wants to see if he'll watch Valentine's Day. I like to watch it every February, preferably around Valentine's Day. And I don't think he's seen it. And I think he would actually like it a lot better than he thinks. Guys, this is so weird. So Caitlin FaceTimes yes. me and we're both in robes with wet hair. She's like, oh my God, did you just shower? I was like, yeah. And she's like, same. And I was like, yeah, I'm also folding my laundry with the laundry on and the bed. I was like <laughs> like that's wild. so we're both having we're wild Tuesday nights right now. we're living the same life happy Valentine's Day by the way you know today's Valentine's oh Day yes happy Valentine's Day happy Valentine's Day I just have to shout this freaking thing out this is the Bondi Boost they just came out with it it's the infrared bounce brush and I literally just did my hair and it looks like I got a blowout I can't get over it so that's all. Look what Ryan brought me. <laughs> oh, cause I guess cause you're sleeping over. You were like, yeah. tomorrow is Valentine's day. Yeah. I think I want roses every time. <laughs> They're so pretty. Well, Did you go to your normal guy? Yeah. 
He had red roses for you? Yeah, he had red roses. Red roses are for Valentine's Day, for sure. No, not every day. Good morning, it's Valentine's Day. You already know what album I'm listening to. My red roses look so pretty. I'm wearing my annual pink turtleneck sweater from Topshop that I've had for years, literally since college, that I try to wear on Valentine's Day. And guys, there's a hole. And Topshop doesn't exist anymore. But I love this sweater so much. It makes me so happy. Um, Ryan and I are gonna run to Dunkin' Donuts and have a little Valentine's Day Dunkin' run. Um, and then we have plans tonight, obviously, but yeah, we are recording the podcast today. I'm getting my nails done today. Um, happy Valentine's Day. I also threw on this coat and I thought I would tell you guys because I feel like it just adds to the drama. <laughs> Makeup is done, hair is just like, anytime I wash my hair the night before, the next morning, it is just so difficult to work with. Um, I don't know if anyone else relates to that. I'm gonna show you guys my little outfit of the day. So we are headed to get my nails done. I'm gonna do just like classic Hailey Bieber nails, like the light pink with glaze or a chrome over top, just very simple. But I wanna be comfortable, so I'm just gonna wear my turtleneck in the nail salon. I just got these jeans. How cool are they? Like, my legs are in and they, like, oh, that's so cool. And some boots, and then for the podcast, I'm gonna change into that white and black Michael Kors top that I showed you guys yesterday that I got from Thread Up. I just love it so much. I think it'll look so good on camera. But I wanna be cozy while I get my nails done, and I just wanna be like, have a slouchy outfit on. Yeah, so we're gonna get our nails done, and then I'm already gonna be over, Brooke and I are recording in a new studio today that's over there, so I'm bringing my computer. And after my nails appointment, I'm gonna go just like work at a coffee shop, and then Brooke's gonna come meet me, and then we're gonna go record the podcast. So, yeah, I got a tote bag full of stuff. Let's see how heavy it is. Oh, it's not too bad. Not too bad, I'm gonna throw over my pink coat. Of course, it's pretty chilly out there today, but I'm excited to, if you guys are semi-new here, I used to live in the Lower East Side, so I'll go back to my old neighborhood and just enjoy the day. And then I'll come back, and Ryan and I have dinner plans tonight, but we had a nice little morning. I'm glad we went to Dunkin' and stuff. That was cute. That was so cute of us. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Nails are done. We're gonna head to the coffee shop now and get some work done before I meet with Brooke. And yeah, we're trying out this new podcast studio, like I told you guys, so I'm kind of nervous. Happy Valentine's Day, or Valentine's, I don't even know. came home and took off all my makeup and put on this set again. Going to make my favorite smoothie. Look at me making it at home. Um, it's four o'clock. Ryan made the dinner reservation. He said it's at 8.30, which is honestly lovely because I need a pack for Toronto. So I can do all that now. So I'm gonna pack and get any like admin work done and all that. I'm trying to decide if I wanna go work out today because I did not work out yesterday. I've been like on a good grind. I'm just trying to like stay in that, but that's why I work out in the morning because in the afternoon I just like don't wanna work out. I'm so tired. I'm kind of leaning towards no and maybe I'll do an early morning workout tomorrow before the flight because I don't have to leave until like 11.30. Maybe I'll do that and then I can just have everything done today and I don't, I just don't feel like leaving my apartment anymore. I've been out and about all day. 
me justifying, I'll justify just about anything. Oh, this is a new almond butter, so it has all the oil on the top. I've been storing my almond butter upside down. Like you guys said, of course, since I forgot to do that with this one. But my other one, it was so helpful because it helped kind of mix all the oil. Like, you know, when the oil's on the top, it's just not fun when you first open it all up and you have to deal with that. I use this protein powder, no cow protein powder. And then I'm gonna put some of my Armora Colostrum. It's kind of funny because the Armora Colostrum comes from cows, but then I'm like using no cow protein powder. I make no sense, but um, I really think this has been helping me stay healthy. I feel like so many people were sick the last few weeks during fashion week. And I was like, I am not getting sick. Like I'm, I'm not. So I was just loading up. I was taking this, my vitamin C, all the things and I'm doing well. So I don't want to jinx it, but cause I, I knew I had the Toronto show this weekend, Philly next weekend. Like I don't want to get anyone sick and we're doing well. But the podcast went so well today. It's like a really unhinged, funny episode. Um, I feel like all of our episodes are good, but like I was just really happy with it. So if you don't already listen to my podcast with my best friend, what are you doing? Because it's so much fun. I've been dreading opening this almond butter this whole time we've been chatting. Gosh, I just hate dealing with the oil. Okay, it's not like too bad. It's just gonna be a little drippy. You guys are like, what are you doing? And then I just add some ice and my perfect smoothie is almost here. Dun, 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 dun. About to light a candle, sit on my couch, respond to emails. Just sounds nice. Mm. Okay. I always add the ice because I feel like it makes it more of like a frosty kind of vibe, like the Wendy's Frosties. Not that I'm saying this is a Wendy's Frosty, but you know, it's milkshake vibes. I am always so messy with this. This is the problem. Then you just add a straw. And I mean, it never gets old. It literally never gets old. We're gonna light a new candle today. Fun fact, this is where I store all of said candles. I'm trying to figure out what my vibe is. Oh, I never, this was a fall candle, with apple and charcoal. I feel like that's a little too much. A little too fall for my liking. I need a romantic scent. I guess we'll burn the Drake candle. This is the Carby Musk Drake candle. It's not like Drake, oh my God, it smells so good. Apparently this is what Drake likes to smell like. And Brooke got it for me for my birthday and I literally haven't lit it because I didn't want to. But you know what, I'm just, what am I gonna never light it? Cause I don't wanna use it. So there's gotta be a day I light it. And today's the day, it's Valentine's day. Drake, we love him, it's fine. This time of day, my apartment always has the best lighting and I'm like, I should be utilizing it, but we're not. But I'm so upset with myself. I should have gotten Ryan's Valentine's Day card like last week because there was like nothing at paper stores. So all they literally had left was like, happy Valentine's Day for your dad or like a pack of cards. So I'm just gonna, he doesn't care. I'm just gonna write something really nice because that's what I wanted to do. Anyways, it doesn't matter what the card actually is. And then I also got this, which is like so cheesy, but it's called Date Night, a journal for couples. Spark conversation and connection. This journal belongs to Ryan and Danielle. And I just think it would be so fun. Each page, like things we disagree on. It would just be fun for us to sit and chat. Movies of special significance to us. Songs of special significance to us. Things we hope to experience together. Cuisines we've tried and want to try. I just think it'll spark convo. Like when you've been, like we've been dating almost five years and you know, you think you know everything about someone, but I think something like this could be really fun and just for us to reminisce on past memories together, um, like recipes or other things we want to try. Funniest moments and biggest laughs. I don't know. We'll see if he leans into it, but I'm gonna, I almost want to like bring it to dinner, but that's kind of weird probably. <laughs> Hi friends, I just put in my hair extensions because you know what, it's Valentine's Day and I wasn't loving my hair before. Everything's tangled. So I just popped in my Lexi hair extensions. I've gotten so good at putting them in myself and it just is an instant confidence boost and it like really tickles my itch, tickles my itch for um, like hair extensions but I just love to do slick backs so it's, and it's really hard to do slick backs and just certain updos when you have like sewn in hair extensions. Um, this just like makes it so easy. So Ryan will be here in 30 minutes. So, and I already do my makeup. I already picked up my outfit earlier and I just packed for Toronto. 
So we are crushing it. Hi, I'm Danielle and you're watching Disney Channel. Da, 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 da. So I'm gonna get to work. I'll see you guys after my outfit. Done. I'm gonna wait to brush through them just to let them hold the curl a little bit more. But it's such a fun little. Ryan's gonna be like, oh, hello. Also, in February, I just listened to more Justin Bieber. I don't know what it is. Always been a huge fan, but like in February, I just listened to him a lot. And I just found this playlist on Spotify. It's just Justin Bieber acoustic because he has a couple different like acoustic albums and it's just putting me in the best mood. So. I kind of want to pop open a drink. We're gonna pop open a spritz. This is the passion fruit flavor. I've only had this a few times. Ah, oh, I haven't had a spritz in a minute. So good. I also just put the light on my camera because it's just better. Okay, Ryan just got here. Brushed out the curls. Did you notice that my hair's longer right now? Oh yeah. It is. Do you like it? Yeah. Put in my little clip-ins for you. Here's the fit. Okay, top is DVF. Bangles are Love AJ. Earrings are Shashi. And then the star of the show is this dress from Stodd. I just love it. It's a perfect Valentine's Day dress. And then I'm wearing some little black heels from the brand Arezzo, and then obviously a coat. And I was gonna wear tights, but I cannot find my black shoe tights for the life of me. So we're just gonna be cold, but... Good morning. I am packing up my carry-on bag for the plane, going to Pilates in a little bit. Um, but I'm doing a backpack today because I'm wearing my big coat so I don't have to pack it. And these shoulder pads do not allow for a tote bag on your um, shoulder. So we're doing my base backpack. And I bring two laptops for the live shows, my personal one, and then one that we use for the live show, like for the slides and stuff. So this is just better on my back anyway. So I just like lay everything out and then I put them in a ton of pouches in here. <laughs> I also have my sweet cleaning lady coming today. And so sh um, I just like put the sheets in the washer. I have my vacuum charging and it'll actually be amazing because when I leave, she'll probably still be here. So when I get back on Saturday, it'll be like spotless in here. I'll be so excited to come home. Okay, hey, we're gonna go to New York Pilates. I just put my hair in a headband because half the time we're laying down and then it just hurts my ponytail anyways. I'm wearing this tank top from One Mile, some leggings, my Pilates socks. A lot of people go barefoot, but I find that I like to wear grippy socks. Um, so I'm not sliding all around because like my feet get sweaty and stuff. Um, and I got these on Amazon and they're cute because they're like high socks and then I'll just throw on some Uggs and I shut the door because I didn't want her to see me. Vlogging. Even though she probably sees this camera everywhere and is like, what does this girl do? But yeah, I've been loving this little routine I've been having for live shows. We've been leaving on Thursdays around 2 p.m. That just seems to be the cadence. So I've been going to like a morning Pilates class before the airport and it just soothes me, puts me in a good mood and a mind good mindset for the day. And I'm just so excited. Like I'm so grateful that I get to be traveling. Caitlin and Delaney are coming to help sell merch and Brooke's coming, obviously and Brooke's coming. And then Kat, our makeup artist is coming as with us as well. And then our gals in the go team, like we're just gonna have such a good vibe this weekend and I'm so excited and I've never been to Toronto. So spirits are high. up 
up. I'm about to take a shower, get dressed, pick up Delaney, and head to the airport. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and make sure, again, to use code Danielle to get 35% off the red up on your first order, and thank you guys for watching. Bye!